victory. I just got another victory. Opposition say they sick of me. We turn their future to history. They try to hit me, they missing me. Ooh, they in the way. They getting stepped on back in the day. We who they slept on. You see my place, it's never What's going on, everybody? I want to welcome you back to Shit Brilliance Mix. Just wanted to hop on this morning and uh, just give a response to the last performance of the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks fell down big time to the Miami Heat in our last playoff game. And I had already created my video and taken so much to put up because it was a little bit long. I had a, a tough time uploading it. And, you know, I even looked at it and I was just like, is there a certain level of delusion that's attached to that video? And to that, I, I say a couple of things. Maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, I'm a believer in this team. I'm, in a, I'm a believer in the talent that's on this team. I'm a believer in the room that we still need to grow in, that, that, that the ceiling or many of our players is still unreached. That's what I'm a believer in. Um, but what I saw put out from the very beginning in that Miami game was the look of, um, I'm, I'm going to take over this game from Jimmy Butler, you know, and to see that um, from the outset, I knew I knew there was going to be problems. I, I, I knew I knew it was going to be problems. So um, that's that's what we need. You know, and I, I said at the very beginning of the season, I said, you know, do we have a player that's a dog? And I think a major difference when we added Josh Hart to the squad, I think we got that type of play with that type of attitude. But the truth of the matter is, is that type of attitude needs to be implemented in your star. And part of it is Jalen Brunson. But when you have the ability to shut him down, and there's nobody else who could carry the load until he could have his moments to put us over the top. That's when you run into problems. So uh, I know that Knicks Nation is in a frenzy. I know that there are people who are skeptical. There's people who are nervous and rightfully so. With the performance that was put out last game, they're, 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 you, you, those feelings aren't unfounded. But what you got to know about the playoffs is you got to have a short memory. You have to put that out of your mind and you have to prepare for the next game, which is tonight. And it's going to say a lot about who this team is. It's going to say a lot about if there are changes that needs to be made on this roster and what type of element you need to add in order to take that next step, you know, uh, in this series. Series is not over. It's the best of five at this point. But what we do know is Knicks need to, they better come to fight. They better come to fight. I think they will. I believe the game is in the garden. So I believe that's going to be there. But the look that Jimmy Butler had on his face was a bully, straight bully. Like, this is how it's going to go down. I got my boys with me. They believe that this is how it's going to go down. What do you have? What do you believe? And there was a lot of talk, especially by myself, throughout this season of 90s Knicks. Oh, this team reminds me of the 90s Knicks. <clears throat> Well, some of the distinctive parts would be a slight adjustment coaching wise would lead to a harder than usual foul. You know, you just don't, you know, float through the lane and, and get this ticky tack foul and, and you follow up and get the and one. That doesn't happen. Somebody needs to hit the floor. You know, somebody needs to be rocked where they're shaking, where they're grabbing their shoulder. They think, and I'm not saying, you know, just, uh, uh, Bush League tactics, but they need to feel you like they made us feel them. So it's going to be a lot to be said about what type of uh, want and desire uh, players will have when they show up. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm, I'm expecting it to be tit for tat because Miami ain't going nowhere. You know, they're trying to shock the world. We're trying to stop them. Okay. So I look forward to watching this game. You know, I'm Looking forward to seeing what adjustments are made. Uh, we got outplayed, out-efforted, out-coached. Everybody needs to show up. Coaching staff needs to show up. Um, players need to show up. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm a believer in this team. Once again, we've out-kicked our coverage. 
Why not keep out kicking it? We weren't supposed to be here. I, I love listening to fans who had like, you know, this is a perennial uh, playoff team. And, uh, and, and their level of standard is so high that it's unreachable for these players. And these, these players are such a disappointment. But they do need to step up, you know, so I'm not going to crucify fans for putting that heat on the players. They, they got to. You know, you made it this far. You made it this far. We've seen too many times throughout the season where you fought and you've overcome obstacles. Uh, we don't need you to lay down in these playoffs. We need you to go out swinging. If you go out, we're going to be proud of you regardless. But go out swinging, you know. And, and set the stage for what this future and this run is going to be like for years to come. So with that, I say this, there's no struggle, there's no progress. So that the same notion applies to life that applies to our team. And like, yo, big game tonight. Let's go Knicks. We here and we got tonight. She brings Knicks. I'm out. Peace. Victory. I just got another victory. Opposition said they sick of me. We turn their future to history. They try to hit me, they missing me. Ooh, they in the way. They getting stepped on back in the day. We who they slept on. You see my place? It's never.